The invention of electricity over a hundred years ago quickly created a big challenge, how to deliver that power to customers. Bringing energy to our homes and communities takes a lot more than just flipping a switch. First, energy is generated through a variety of ways. Next, the power is increased to a higher voltage at a nearby substation. From the substation, energy is sent out over high voltage transmission lines, which carry large amounts of electricity for long distances, sometimes hundreds of miles. As it gets closer to where it is needed, the power is transformed to lower voltages at distribution substations and sent out again to homes and businesses through smaller distribution lines. Transmission line structures come in many shapes and sizes, including wood, lattice, and single pole steel structures. There are several components that make up a transmission line. Conductor is the steel or aluminum wire strung between the structures. Glass or porcelain insulators keep the conductor from making contact with the structures. Shield wire sits at the top of the structure to protect the conductor from getting hit by lightning strikes. The U.S. electric grid includes over 450,000 miles of interconnected high-voltage transmission lines, enough to circle the Earth 18 times. Our electric grid, much of it built decades ago, has been growing for over 100 years. Continuing to update the grid is important to ensure that safe, reliable electricity is there when and where we need it, now and in the future.